Hello friends of the internet. It's Thursday. One more day to Friday and we're good. Um, just got done working. It's like 3.30ish. And I've had a lot of questions about my little rainbow wall. Y'all can see that little rainbow window, the situation. Um, okay. So here's how I did it. There's a lot of people asking how I made it, what I used with it, all that good stuff. So let me flip you around and I'll show you what I used. First of all, I used cardstock that I had on hand. I just had some rainbow cardstock on hand and then um, printed these out. And let me show you where I found that. So if you Google heart templates printable, you'll get a whole bunch of printable templates. I used this one because I wanted a variety of different heart sizes. Um, if you wanted just all the same size, you could do this. If you wanted just like two sizes, you could do that. I mean, wh whatever floats your boat. So I did that, I copied it, and then I put it into a Word document and then formatted it to fit this page. So see how it kind of like, you know, has the little frame. The frame is still there, but I just formatted it to fit this page because it was a little smaller. I had to blow it up. Totally fine. And then after that, clearly you cut them out. So I am cutting at the moment. I'm working on a, another one because I figured why not put stuff like up in my other room as well. So my bedroom, which is like the bedroom and the office are right next to each other. So anyway, I thought that looked cute. And then for the adhesive, I used these on Amazon. I'll link where I got this on Amazon below. I'll also link the cardstock I got on Amazon. I got it a while ago, but I did get it on Amazon. So if you're interested, I mean, but it's just rainbow paper. So you can just use whatever you have on hand if you have any colorful paper on hand, or you can even use white. That would look cute too. Um, I just thought that the rainbow would look cute because I have white blinds, so if I did white paper, you wouldn't really see it. Um, so these are like removable glue dots. So um, yeah, and they're just like, hold on, let me let me pull one out for you guys so you can kind of see. They're really easy to use, and you could use it on, let's see, paper, metal, glass, wood, plastic, foam, photos and cardstock. So this is what they look like. They're little dots, it's so hard to see. There you go, you can kind of see them a little bit better. Um, but yeah, these work really good and they hold pretty well. I haven't had any issues with slippage or anything. So anyway, that's how I made my little window situation over there. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Doyle is, down there doing doyle dog things. Um, just got done working just a little bit ago. And um, yeah, that's what's going on here. Nothing uh, too exciting, guys. Nothing too exciting today. But um, oh, forgot to say in the vlog yesterday that basically Minnesota has canceled April. <laughs> like April is over, even though we're in the middle of it because our stay at home order is going on till May 4th, I believe it's a Monday. So our governor announced that yesterday. I didn't get the news until late yesterday, so I forgot to tell you guys. So yeah, that's happening. <laughs> so um, I'll be working at home until at least May 4th. Who knows, maybe longer, because I know that these things tend to get extended and whatever. So now I'm glad that I have my little heart thing to look at. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. All right, so. I'm just going a little stir crazy today, but uh, yeah, the weather is also not helping. It did snow earlier. I, I don't know what was up with that, but it only snowed, at least here, it only snowed for um, maybe 10 minutes, maybe 20, 10, 20 minutes, but none of it stuck at all. There was other places in Minnesota where there was actual like accumulation. There was no accumulation here at all. So um, yeah, just kind of just kind of nuts. And it's been super windy out today, like very overcast. So I don't know. It's just just a shitstorm. 
Oh goodness. But um, anyway, I wanted to share the whole heart thing because I've had a lot of questions. I've had a lot of DMs about it on Instagram and Facebook. So I'm trying to answer those as much as possible. I did just do a couple stories on Instagram just sharing how I did it um, and all that good stuff. But um, hopefully if you do have questions, did have questions, or do have questions, you'll see this one. So anyway, all right, well, I'm gonna jet for a little while and go do some things. I don't know what. Maybe I'll cut some more hearts. Maybe I'll wait till tomorrow to cut more hearts. I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen. I barely know what day it is half the time. So anyway, I'll see you guys in a little while. Bye. Well, hello. I am gonna run downstairs and I'm gonna make some dinner. It's kind of late. Well, not super late, it's like 7.20. I think I'm gonna have another one of my, oh hey Doyle, <laughs> another one of my BLTs minus the L because I don't have any L right now. Oh goodness gracious. So I need to find, yeah, I need my toaster. Pull this bad boy down, one handed, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness gracious so yeah I'm gonna do that I made this making the same thing I had last night so very very exciting times guys exciting exciting times oh goodness I might watch a little TV for a little bit yeah I don't know boring life y'all boring life right now but you know what that's okay it's okay to have a boring life at the moment I will I will take it y'all I will take it but all right Doyle just walked downstairs too so he definitely needs to go to the bathroom so I will see you guys in just a little while bye okay so it is hours later I'm gonna move things around and yeah I actually got to talk to my brother for a little bit he is actually coming into town next week and staying at my parents place um they actually live really close to me so um he if you guys don't know if you're new here hi my brother lives in iowa and his son that he shares custody of lives in minnesota so um Clearly, my nephew Jackson lives with his mom for the majority of the time. However, you know, spending time with him is really difficult right now because of this virus that's going around and whatever. Rather than driving all the way back to Iowa with him, my brother is just gonna come and hang out, not physically here, but in my area. So, I have been tasked with going to the grocery store for him tomorrow is what I'm gonna go um, because it's gonna be way easier than toting around a five-year-old and I know that there are some places that are not letting in children right now so anyway um, I'm gonna go do that tomorrow but I'm just working on my list so I've got my list and then I got my brother's list <laughs> so yeah and then I'm just gonna bring all the groceries um, over to my parents place so that will be good and then I've got a few things like from here that my brother wants um, and I'll bring that to him so yeah and I might actually see him on Sunday don't worry we're gonna stay six feet apart okay so no judgy pants um, but I might see him on Sunday um, cause he's talking about possibly just like coming over and, um, saying hello. I think I'll just, we would just sit in the garage, but it's gonna be really cold outside. So like just to kind of socialize a little bit. Um, so I think I'll just set up a chair for him over here and then I'll like sit over here or something. We'll just like chat anyway. So yeah, that is what's going on here. And, um, there's the Doyle. He wants to go outside and go potty. And it's about that time anyway, because it's about 9.30. So it's, it's time to uh, wrap up the day. So anyway, I'm gonna say goodbye. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching today. I will be back tomorrow and um, I will probably show you guys I'll bring you guys with me. I'll probably show you guys uh, like my brother's haul. 
um, because I'm gonna try to do like two separate transactions at the grocery store if they let me, just depending on how busy it is. I hope it's not like crazy busy. Um, it shouldn't be, but you just you just never know. But I have to work tomorrow, so in the afternoon after work, then I am gonna go um, do the shopping and all that good stuff. So anyway, that's it for me today. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me.